All right. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Come on in the house. Let's get it. Let's get this show on the road. Hello, everybody. I am KTJ, Kelvin Troy Johnson, dating and relationship coach known as the Love Coach of Atlanta. And today we're getting into it. What do men want? Five feminine traits men find attractive is what we're talking about tonight. And so thank you guys so much uh, for joining us. Welcome to the show. Uh, so my background is in working with men. I worked with men for 17 years. I became, uh, I start work with men from social work, from the church, men from the fraternity, men from all over. And um, I brought all of that here to the dating and relationship space. So I talked to men, I talked to women, and uh, I have these conversations, y'all. So I'm not just making this stuff up right here. I've ha had these conversations with men. I'm, I'm listening to the men and I'm hearing what they got to say. And I'm just reporting what the brothers have to say. So I hope that you guys have got your pen and paper and you're ready to take some notes and jump in, drop your questions in the chat. And we're going to blast off in here. All right. So um, I just need to uh, make sure that we're up. I'm getting it on the. Yes, getting it in on the Facebook channel. So you guys drop while you while we getting everything together and everybody's coming in. Look, drop in the comment section where you're watching this show from. Let me know where you guys are watching the show from as we get this thing popping here. Let me know where you're watching the show from. All right, my girl, <laughs> Makita said, I can't wait. Thank you so much for, for popping in. My girl LV is in the building. What's up, LV? She said, let's get it. <laughs> all right. Shonda's in the building. What's going on, Shonda? All right. Good to see all of y'all. Thank you so much for coming in. We're going to make it happen tonight. Uh, also, you guys, I have a I have a some a guest popping in. I have a single lady popping in, and, and we're going to do a live. Uh, we're going to talk about dating, her dating experience. Um, kind of like a live consultation right here on the show. And um, so you guys stay tuned for that. She'll be on. I'm, I'm going to bring her on in, in a few minutes, but I want to get this part going. I want to drop these traits and we'll we'll go back to it um, here shortly. But I definitely want to uh, get that going. So you don't want to miss it. This is going to be a good show. Um, we're bringing her on and we're going to talk about we're gonna, her, her name is Alejandra. Alejandra. <laughs> yeah, that's her name. So we're going to bring her on in just a minute. <laughs> it's the website. We'll talk about that later, Shonda. <laughs> yes, Stephanie's in the building from the ATL. Lavanya is here. LV is from North Carolina. Shonda's here from Norfolk, Virginia. My old stomping ground. All right. So let's get into it, you guys. Um, so here's here's where this comes from. So I like to have the conversation, you guys. When I'm talking to men, I want to know from the guys, how did you choose the woman that you chose? Why did you choose that woman that you chose? Of all the choices that you had to choose, why did you choose her? What was it about this particular woman that had you choose her? And many, I often get the same answer in different forms. They'll say, there was something about her. They'll say, there was something about her that was different from all the other women and tonight, y'all, I'm going to tell you what that something is. <laughs> These five feminine traits that men find irresistible is, the, is that little special something that, the, that men often tell me the reason that they chose this woman over all the other choices that they had. So, um, so that's, that's how we're going to do it. So, so let's get into it. No more delaying. Let's get into it. I got I got five. I want you guys to follow these five, and um, I will I'll I'll talk about them as we go. All right. So number one, number one, and it's not not necessarily in order of importance, but it's just in the order that I grabbed it. Number one that I want to talk about is receptive. A woman that is receptive is very attractive to a masculine man. Now, um, I, need to, I need to preface that a little bit and say the men we're talking about are masculine men, right? 
<laughs> men who desire women, men who who are who feel comfortable as a man pursuing a feminine woman. Okay, so that I'm, I just want to kind of lay that out, right? And I'm hoping, and we're talking about men who are on their on their path. They know where they want. They know who they are. They know where they're going. And that's the kind of men that I'm hoping that the women who watch this show um, are attracted to. So number one, receptive. You are physically designed to receive. You, you understand what I'm saying? Re reproduction. You are physically designed to receive, not to give. Now, what you what you do is um, I'm, I'm going to go into number two, add value, but that's for, for the next one. But you are designed to receive. I got a client. I said, uh, you know, she told me, she said, Kel, I'm going on all these dates. I'm really excited about the date. I'm happy about what's happening. Tell me something. Tell me tell me what I need to do to, to, to make this all work. I said. Ask the man to bring you a gift. <laughs> now, of course, you know, once upon a time, you didn't have to ask a man to bring you a gift. I said, I told her, ask a man, ask the guy to bring you a little something, to bring you a little gift, nothing expensive, but just something that um, you, that represents him in your mind. And every time you see it, you're going to think of him, right? For many men, they just need that little hint. <laughs> and they'll go do, right? Listen to this, y'all. If you don't say it often, he won't do it. So so you have to re remind a man to sometimes to be giving in that way. They know how, man know how to open doors and pay for checks and stuff like that, but he don't he doesn't know how to create an experience sometimes. So you be receptive. Okay? Which means put your rest in your feminine position to receive what a man has to give. Man, man asks you to go out on a date and ask you, um, hey, would you go, let, let's go to, uh, I want to take you to Shea Murray down on 30, 31st Street, right? Now, unless you got a seafood allergy, you should be like, you know what? I'll go along. If it's something you can go along with, why not go along with it? Don't be like, oh, you know what? I was really hoping for Denny's. <laughs> Oh, I was hoping, for, I really love me some Chick-fil-A. Let the man do what he does and allow him to give to you, which is what he, what, what you actually want him to do. And the more masculine, he'll feel more masculine as he gives to you and you'll feel more feminine as you receive. All right, number two, the second feminine trait that men absolutely find irresistible a woman who adds value. Now, I'm not talking about a woman who's trying to tell me what to do, trying to tell men what to do. That is not feminine. <laughs> that is masculine, right? Sh uh, giving orders and calling shots and every you this and you like that is not that's not feminine. And I'm telling y'all. You might think that these are very small, insignificant things, but it's the it's the energy behind the thing. It's not the thing. It's not what you say. It's how you say it. I'm not saying I'm not telling you to agree with everything a man says. If it don't make sense, um, don't go with it, right? But there's a way to say it doesn't make sense. <laughs> Tina, I ain't done yet. <laughs> Tina said, I do all those things and still single. Just wait a minute. Just ride with me for a little bit, all right? Number two, adds value. How this person, now now listen to this, you guys. I, I want you to practice this. Look, look, don't wait for Mr. Um, Mr. Right to show up to start being and, and exercising these things, right? Add these things to your overall character so you don't have to put on when he show up, right? So adding value. How can how the people in your life, add value to the people in your life. You see somebody, look, you, you see me doing my show? 
right? If you got a great idea for how Cal Cal can come through and have a better show, right? Or or something. Now, I, look, I ain't inviting everybody to come in here with Cal. Cal, you know what you need to do? Blah, 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 blah. No, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> but what I am saying is, um, you know, the people in your life, how can you add value to the people in your life? How can you add value to the people who, who, who experience you, right? There's something you can do. Maybe there's an idea, maybe something that can make them better. How can you make them better? Look, if you make a life uh, experience of making people better, it just all gets better, <laughs> right? And when it's time, when, the, when, when Mr. Um, Mr. Handsome, Mr. Six Foot Two show up, right? You don't have to start putting on an act. Uh, you don't have to tap dance and start trying to be these things that I'm talking about, but you've been practicing and rehearsing these things all along. Maybe that's why um, somebody's still single. <laughs> I'm just messing with Tina. It's my girl. All right, number three. Number three, the third feminine trait men find irresistible is a woman who knows how to engage him. A woman that knows how to engage a man, right? She's not meeting him with war. She's meeting him with peace. And sometimes even if he presents war, you fall back and present him with peace. Uh, I read a scripture one time that said, um, the a soft answer turneth away wrath. Teaching, teaching feminine energy, soft answer. You don't have to meet hard with hard, violence with violence, right? All of these, right? I, I, and I, I, wanna, I wanna give you guys an overall view of this, right? All of these are just, suggestions on helping you to just be who you are. The world has, uh, in a lot of ways, has beaten the femininity out of women. It has pressed the femininity out of women. Some of you actually feel that some of these things make you weak, but I'm telling you, they make you strong in your femininity. Feels like weakness, but I'm telling you, it's creating strength within you, right? Now, uh, um, let, me, let me pause for a minute and also say that for some of you, you can't take some of this stuff because you're not healed enough. You're not in the healing position enough that you can take this stuff. Oh, I'm not talking to no man. If he talked to me all crazy, I'm going to talk back to him crazy. You want me to man, um, man to man? You're not going to win that. Right. And why not just fall back into your feminine ways and draw him in? You guys, anybody here ever had a, got a got a dog and a cat? Have you ever had a dog and ever had a cat? Right. A dog is like you can teach a dog to sit. Roll over, <laughs> jump, all these things. Right. Try that with a cat. You, tell, you try to get a cat to do something for you and a cat be like, ew. <laughs> cat will walk away while you're talking to him, right? You have to draw in a cat. You have to compel a cat, right? And, uh, and I'm telling you, there's something to it. There's something to it, y'all. So, so understand that um, knowing how to engage a man, engaging him, you can engage a man in logic using logic, the way that we know how, know how to think, right? You can engage a man um, in being the opposite. Listen to this, y'all. I say this often and I want to keep saying it, right? I want to keep saying it. Men are often looking for a soft place to land and women are often looking for a solid place to land, right? If a man comes up at you and you become a hard place to land, he'll want to go land somewhere else. Trust me, there's plenty of other soft places to land, <laughs> okay? But if he comes to you, that means he wants to land, he wants to, to, to be with you, all right? Let's keep it going. Number four, 
Number four, the number four feminine trait men find irresistible, an attractive woman. <laughs> Listen, an attractive woman. Uh, I say this often. You guys can 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 um, try this if you want, right? Ladies, look, and, and I'm talking, this is only for the women who are attracted to this message and want to up their game in the femininity realm, all right? You go to the store, look look through the store and see if you find any dresses, any skirts. It is harder and harder for you to find skirts and find dresses and find things like that, right? And I'm telling you, um, skirts and dresses represent femininity to, to a man. Now, I know, look, some of this stuff I'm saying to y'all, y'all go, y'all would be like, you know what? Kel, that is so basic. I'm not, you know, listen, I'm telling you, men are often very basic. <laughs> the things men desire and, and like and are attracted to are very basic. So look at your closet, look, in, look at what you have to wear and ask yourself, what in this closet is feminine? Do I have any feminine colors? Do I have any soft feminine colors? I, I remember this lady um, wore a, a powder blue suit. I, I'm, I met one of one of my friends at, at a church one time. I met her. We had a um, you know she was like the she was like in charge or something, right? I still remember this this powder blue suit she wore. Now we we good friends now, but like the very first time I met her, she had on this powder blue suit, and that that suit was was beautiful she it just made her light up and i remember that suit about her and I, I bring it up to her all the time now she's like i don't even remember that i don't have no blue suit yes you do because i remember i'm telling you there's something about soft colors there's something about feminine um uh it's it's clothing it's all of all of the stuff that y'all know how to do right some some people like they like i'm not doing that I got to do all of that to just attract a man. Yes. <laughs> if you want a high quality, high level, high value man, you have to look high quality, high value, and the kind of woman that's going to stand next to him. Now, you don't have to do any of this stuff, y'all. Listen to me. You don't have to do any of this. But if you want what you say you want, you may have to do what you have not been doing. All right? Attractive. Uh, no silk hair bonnets outside. None. When you go to the grocery store, get rid of the sweatpants. <laughs> okay? When you, when you, I, I know you're just running out to get some milk. You don't have to look like, you don't, you don't have to look like you just fell off the apple cart. You like, like you don't. You can look good. You can look, uh, attractive, because th let me tell you something. A man will see you getting out of the car from all the way across the parking lot. <laughs> a man will see you all the way across the, the supermarket. A woman that is beautiful, that's put together, that's feminine, that's uh, a approachable. Um, we see him just like that. Now, how do you look? How do you look approachable, right? I know you, you guys y'all get tired of a man walk up to you and say, hey, smile. You don't smile enough. It is a statistical fact that men find women who smile more attractive. You instantly increase your attractiveness by just by smiling. Right? But if you're ang if you're an angry person and you got that resting bee face, you got that face that look like you act like you smell something all the time. Um, that's not attractive. That's not attractive. And, and you cannot attract a man in that way. But so, so it's actually from the inside out. So number five, number five, the fifth feminine trait men find irresistible. Number five, a woman who enjoys her life from the inside. I'm telling you, a woman who enjoys her life, a woman who's not afraid to take herself out to dinner, not afraid to go, go out to an event 
and meet new people. Not afraid to go down to the festival where she won't know anybody, but she's having an experience that she's going to enjoy. And it's amazing how it, when you're open like that, when you're uh, when you you got that positive energy radiating from the inside, the love of God coming from the inside, you become more attractive and you're going to find new people to be attracted to. I tell some of my clients, get on the plane. If you actually love whatever it is that you love, go to the conference, get on the plane and be in the environment where that's happening. I'm talking about blow it out. Y'all heard me tell, tell you the story about the lady who did the Zumba classes. <laughs> she did Zumba. She wanted to find a new husband, new man. She, she loved Zumba. I told her, get on the plane. Go to the biggest Zumba conference that you can find. And you dance. You go all out. You dance like a wild woman. Why? Because you love your life. If you love your life, you need to show it. And I'm telling you, there's no makeup that's greater than a woman who loves her life. There's no dress that a woman can wear that's better than a woman who loves her life. She loves the things she does. She loves the people in her life. And it is absolutely attractive. Number one, receptive. I'm going to run them back down to y'all. And I, look, and if you're watching this, look, I need y'all to hit that like, like button, hit them like buttons, hit them. Let me see them thumbs up come through. <laughs> y'all, if you're watching on YouTube, I need y'all to hit the hit that thumbs up button. Like this video. Um, it definitely helps, uh, helps the show. Number one, I'm running all right back down to you guys. Number one, being receptive. These are the five feminine traits men find irresistible. Number one, receptive. Number two, she adds value. Number three, knows how to engage a man. Number four, attractive. A woman that is attractive in, inside and out. And number five, the fifth feminine trait men find irresistible is a woman that enjoys her life to the fullest. Living life like it's on fire to the fullest. All right. Did y'all get that? Let me know y'all still here. Let me know. Let me know if y'all got that. I hope you got something from that. I'm going to bring my girl in, Alejandra. <laughs> hello there. Hello, hello, Miss Henderson. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Good, 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 good. Welcome to the show. Uh, I hope, um, <laughs> yes, so let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's talk a little bit about your um, dating journey and, and tell me about like the biggest challenge that you are experiencing in your dating journey. Um, the biggest challenge that I am facing is um, I meet, um, I want to say a high value men, mm -hmm. um, conversation is well, mm -hmm. and then I want to say it just don't go anywhere. I'm not going to say they ghost me or anything like that. It just mm -hmm. go like stagnant. And then some of them just like fall off the wagon. It doesn't go anywhere. So when you say it doesn't go anywhere, meaning like um, after going out on a date? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you go out on a date and, and tell me tell me about the average date. I haven't been on any. A lot of them um, has been long distance. Um, so no, I, I went on one. Okay. And okay. that was real nice. Um, we talked. Um, we enjoyed each other's company. I I, I know that, um, mm -hmm. but never got asked out for another one. Mm. Never got a phone mm. call or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, so when where do you normally meet these guys? Um. Well, long story short, I took myself out of the dating realm for a very long time. Okay. Um, 
How, how long is a long time? Do I have to say? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's confession time. We gonna talk, we gonna help you tonight. Mm. We gonna help you tonight. Um, this past July, it was sixteen years. Sixteen years. You you are you are far too beautiful to be out of the dating realm for sixteen years. Thank you. Um, I had to. I, I was a broken young. I was a broken woman. Okay. And I said if I was going to go into another relationship, I didn't want to bring a lot of the baggage that I took in a lot of my previous relationships mm -hmm. into another relationship. Okay. Okay. Um, prime example, the first relationship I had was a high school sweetheart, which went far left, terrible. Really don't want to discuss that. Um, mm -hmm. The second relationship um, I had um, is when I was in the military. Um, everything was going swell. We were planning on getting married. Ended up the guy tells me he, um, his cousin was coming to visit. Come to find out it wasn't his cousin. Caught them both in the bed at the same time. So that was like, wow. Um, oh, wow. Yeah. Um, and then the third relationship was um, my last relationship. It was my daughter's um, father. Um, he was just... And it was an 11-year relationship, which I didn't really realize it was that long. Mm -hmm. um, he was cheating. He was mm -hmm. doing a lot of cheating. And then at the end, I found out he had three other kids after my daughter. Oh, wow. So okay. with, all right. all, with all those different tyranties going on and not really healing myself from each one of them, mm -hmm. I just literally took myself out, focus on work, focus on raising my daughter to where I was like, you know what? I need to heal me. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like um, a little baby butterfly in a cocoon, you might yeah. want to say. And when I came out of the cocoon, this is what you say. Yeah. Well, well, that's a beautiful story. Um, however, um, 16 years is a long time. The, the whole dating market has changed. I know. I in, in know. 16 years. And um, so, so let, let's now that 16 years is the past. Let me ask you this What do you want? What do I want? I want a husband. What, what kind of husband you want? Um, I want a husband that is nurturing, that is caring, um, that is in tune, not only with his own feelings, mm -hmm. but can understand, a, can be in tune of a woman's feelings also. Okay. Um, so, so, so wait a minute. Um, what tell tell me what nurturing means? Nur nurturing can mean a lot of things. Um, okay, well, nurturing on my end, since most likely we both would be over the over the bearing children years. Mm -hmm. um, nurturing is nurturing each other. Yeah, holding each other, um, enjoying each other's company, uh -huh. um, enjoying each other. Um, what you might want to say, senior moments. And enjoying mm -hmm. life to the fullest. That's what okay. I'm All right. So let, let me. You know, you were um, you were on here when I just went down the list. Yes, uh, Alejandra. Yes. Um, are you receptive? Yes. To a man. Yes. Tell me about that. What, what does um, that mean? Are you receptive to a man? I'm willing to receive. Mm hmm receive um do you have to be in charge all the time no i don't want to be in charge all the time mm -hmm. so so you can you can lay back and let him um most set up, definitely set most up definitely day. most <laughs> definitely he's gonna come get you pick you up uh you yeah. know all of that um yes. pay, pay for dinner yes are you paying for the the are you paying for the the, the check or are you paying for the uh tip or or nothing 
Um, nothing. Nothing's nothing's a good answer. Nothing. Nothing's a good answer. Um, so receptive. Okay. Add value. Tell me how you add value to this man's life. Mm. How do you add value to this high quality man, his life that the man that you just described? How are you adding value to his life? Um, I can. I'm not gonna say tell because tell is like being demanding. Mm -hmm. Um, I can express or show. Um, different avenues of maybe what he's doing in his own life that can probably be a little more easier or mm -hmm. a little more exciting, um, a little more uplifting. Okay. Um, one of the top values that I can give to a man is to pray over him. Okay. Man needs needs prayer. That's good. Uh, what else? What else do you do that adds value to this to this man that you're talking about? What else can you do? Is there some tangible things that you bring? You know who you are, and when you bring this when when he you are. That's what he's getting when he gets you. What's he getting? He's getting a very real, well rounded woman. Okay. To where? How does that benefit him? How's that benefit him? This is how it will benefit him if we had a home. And okay. for some odd reason, he had to go on a business trip. Mm -hmm. He would never have to worry about, oh, I got to hurry back home because X, Y, and Z done went out or um, the power went out or mm -hmm. the plumbing undid this. Um, I'm a little capable of handling that. Okay, so you can take care of things around the house. Yes. All right. What else? How else do you add value? Um. To a to a, a high quality man's life. Making sure he's well fed. Okay. Now you're talking. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you gotta eat. Okay. Um, making sure he's well fed. I mean, um, um, I, I was I was raised in this city but i have a country heart okay um i believe in a full course meal beautiful now you're talking <laughs> now you're talking good <laughs> all right Let, let's let's keep it going um do you know how to engage a man let's say i just got i just came home from work okay. and um you know i got fired it's this guy's fault. They they hired this idiot down there. They should have fired him, but he fired me. How you how how are you? Um, I need you to engage me. First thing I'll be like, okay, Kenneth, I know your feelings. <laughs> Kenneth, his name's his name's Kenneth. Oh, Kevin, I'm sorry. Ke Kelvin, Ke thank you. Kelvin, I understand how you feel. Because mm -hmm. it hurts me just as well as it hurt you. We as one. But first thing I want you to do, I want you to follow me. Come over here and let's take a nice hot bath. Unwind. Mm -hmm. And once you unwind, I want you to sit down and I want you to talk to me and tell me exactly how do you really feel? What is mm -hmm. really going on? So we can work through this and find out what the next step we can do to resolve this okay okay so so you you come in your approach is the soft answer the the um taking him out of the out of his current state you know the anger state yeah the anger state yeah. relaxing right okay okay you, you know how to do bath um uh, back rubs and, and all that all that good all right now all right attractive um, this man, this high quality man that you're looking for, is he wants an attractive woman. <laughs> I, I'm not going to ask you to rate yourself on a scale of <laughs> one to ten. 
we not we not doing that today. Um, but but the, the, I need you to be completely honest with me. Do you um, do you wear them sweats to the to the grocery store and and um, are, are you know is that are those sweats your look? I wear sweats, true enough, but I don't wear them in the grocery store. Okay. Um, the only time you would ever see me in sweats if I'm doing yard work or mm -hmm. I'm in the garden. Mm -hmm. I like to garden. Um, that probably the only time you'll ever see me wear sweats or if I'm doing a casual walk in the park mm -hmm. to exercise or something like that. That's mm -hmm. the only times I wear sweats or basically just lounging around the house. But just to go out and go shopping and all that now. Okay. So so you don't go you don't, you wear your um you wear your attire. Um uh, you you leave the sweats for for at home. Right. Okay. All right. Um tell me more about attractive. What makes you attractive? <sighs> Um, I guess I smile a lot. That's good. I I do. I I, I mean, if you, I don't know if you notice, I smile a lot. I definitely smile a lot. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, color wise, what kind of colors do you wear? I like to wear my. Um, I like to wear a lot of uh, my African tribal colors. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> um, depending on what it looks like, um, you know, some sometimes that can it's, be. A, a it's, it's 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 bright colors. Okay. Some of bright colors. Yeah. Just be um, look look, uh, Alejandra. Just be be careful about looking like war. No, 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 no. I don't put the okay. paint stuff on my <laughs> Looking like it's I'm talking no. about the clothes themselves. Like sometimes no, no, no. The, no. sometimes uh, they could be they could be a little bit much. Right. right. Yeah. But no, um I wear a lot of bright colors. I wear a lot of I wear a lot of shirts, t shirts type, but they're bright color t shirts. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Um, and blue jeans. I love my blue jeans. Okay. Okay. Um, you wear heels or no heels? It depends. Okay. I'm in the Midwest where it gets cold. Okay. So I will wear heels in the summer, you know, okay. springtime, if the weather yeah. is conducive. Okay. But if the weather's not conducive, I'm wearing my tennis shoes, babe. Look, look now, you, now you know that there's nothing wrong with wearing tennis shoes, right? <laughs> Um, but you don't want to be wearing them all the time, and you you know they got the the wedge heels. Like there's all kinds of things, but I mean, uh, yeah, I, I wear the wedge heels and everything like that. But I mean, I have it depends on what the weather is outside. Okay. Okay. Depends on what the weather is outside. Okay. All I mean, right. I have dressy or what you might want to call. Casual to not too gym like shoes to mm -hmm. wear when I'm out. All right. Um, and number five enjoys her life to the fullest. And I Alejandra, do. give me an example of how you enjoy your life to the fullest. Okay, this is how I enjoy my life to the fullest. As being retired is so relaxing to wear. Um, I would go out and eat by myself. Mm -hmm. I go to the movies. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm planning on going to a Boney Jane concert by myself. Okay. Um, I've gone to plays by myself. Okay. Um, I even been on cruises by myself. Okay. Okay. So See. next year, next year I'm thinking about going on a resort by myself. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Okay. So so you you're into um, you're into living. You're into uh, you know yeah. concerts and going and cruising. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
right. All right. I mean, I gotta love me. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um. All right. Well. Good. Good. Here's the here's the uh, suggestions that I have for you, and oh, some <laughs> some some of some of this uh, you may already do. Um, maybe you do. Maybe you don't. Uh, so I'll just drop a couple for you. All right. Okay. This, this guy who is in the age range of the men that you're looking for. Uh-huh. Um, you know, sometimes some of these guys are ready to go and some of these guys are ready to chill. Okay. Yeah, I right? have met, I have met one like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so some of them they just like I'm not looking to do too much. I just want to just relax, right? right. But so, so here's the thing. The guy that you'll find that you want to do all these things with, you want to live a, a lively life, you'll most likely find him living. Okay. People, people who go to concerts are people who go to concerts. People right. who do not go to concerts are people who do not go to concerts. Right. <laughs> okay. People who go on cruises, they go on a lot of cruises. Right. People who do not go on cruises don't go on cruises. Don't go on cruises. So as you, as you're having conversations with these guys, let's say you meet them online, you meet them somewhere. Um, you need to have a kind of a list of understanding who you are and who matches with you. Right. So one of the things I talk about often is uh, asking yourself, do our futures match? OK. Do you do, do your futures match? Not just not just right now. Um, are you the kind of person who's going to match in my future? You were going to the concert anyway, so you're going to go whether I go or not. Right. You go. You got a life that go on cruises anyway, so you was going on cruises whether I go or not. Right. So now you don't have to pull them up. You don't have to come on. Oh, uh, I thought you said you were going. Oh, you changed your mind. All of that. You could just eliminate all of that. If they are a goer, they go. Right. Right. So so you're listening out for that. Um, okay. I want to I want to also tell you uh, as 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 much you, as you can. I, I don't follow you around, um, but uh, a, attractiveness for men is very, very important. So that in, that includes health and fitness. That includes what you eat, fitness level, how, how you, you're working out like hitting the gym, wh whatever way that you can stay as fit as possible. Cause look, also you got to consider these men at this age, like there's not that many of them as, as these guys get older that, right. that, that are lively and active and, and all of that. Right. 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 So, so they also know that they become almost like the pick of the litter, even though they're not even all that. Right. And so right. the men who are active, Men who do know that they they got it going on, right? They are looking for the best quality mate that they can have. And men look at women's attractiveness and how they treat their bodies. Now, some somebody gonna be wanting to roast me for that for those statements, but do you want that truth or not? <laughs> so is that why a lot of them ask for a full body shot a lot of times? That is exactly why they ask for a full body shot. They want to know, they're measuring um, in their mind how you're going to look when you're with them, how you're, how, how you're like your proportions, let's be honest. They want to know, they want to know how you treat yourself. And how you treat yourself is how they will treat you. Okay. So if you don't care that much about how you look, you don't care that much about what you eat, how you treat yourself, then oh, well, okay, well she don't she don't really care. <laughs> she don't care, why should I care? Okay. You want me to treat you like a queen and you don't treat yourself like a queen? But I I'm I'm suggesting that you live a life of queendom. Okay. <laughs> So all the way around, when, when a guy meets you, he already knows, oh, whoa, I got to come correct on this because she already takes herself out and treats herself good. She already does self-care, has a self-care regimen. 
She already works out. She eats right. She exercises. She thinks. She reads. She does personal growth, personal development. She works on herself. Yeah, I do do that. I do read a lot and I do go to the gym. I haven't been lately because I just moved. But yeah, I do go to the gym. Okay. okay. Yeah. But uh, physical attractiveness is high up on the scale for men. So, and, and the last piece that I'll say on this is uh, when it comes to femininity, right? Femininity is undefeated for thousands and thousands of years. Okay. So what this, this is something that I tell, I told one of my clients the other day, I said, sprinkle femininity everywhere. How do you do that? I mean, sprinkle, <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle femininity everywhere. I, okay. Um, that's where I, I think I'm a little lost that because for the 16 years I've been doing a woman and a man's point of view. Mm -hmm. So when you say sprinkle a little femininity, could you be a little yeah, yeah. more? <laughs> sure. Sure. Um, so, so what I mean is, um, have you ever seen, um, you ever seen some, some, the, the, the honey, the honey baby ladies. Oh, honey. Oh, oh, honey. You're so strong. Can you come over there and, and oh. uh, do the, the, like, yeah, yeah, no. Look, no. men, men be men will be looking for stuff to do for them, right? But no. it's 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 not just in the words, it's in the attitude. It's in the I want you to do something for me. Okay. Right? I, I want you to, oh, you and, and you give them what they need, right? So one of the things men desire, men love is it is, is Feeling more masculine. Okay, so it's the feeling right. they needed. So you give them the feeling that they need, and then they'll give you the feeling you need. Okay. That they'll you give them the feeling you make him feel more masculine. I told my I told one of my clients, I, I said, compliment, compliment the guy on everything he does. Oh, okay. Now that's even better, especially if you're doing long distance and he can't compliment. Compliment. Okay. I'm I'm telling you, everything he does, right? Oh, um, after you had a nice conversation with him online, you might say, you might shoot him a text and say, you know what? I really enjoyed spending time with you on the phone. Thank you so. Thank you for sharing some time with me today. Right, okay. it's 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 so it's so basic that nobody does it, gotcha. and, and and I'm telling you, listen to this: men are listening for appreciation. Men men have a hungry ear for appreciation, because okay. because most people don't do it. Okay, most people don't do it. So uh, so so it's somebody somebody wrote it, it's me Bree. She wrote stroke his ego. Sometimes we just have to do it. Yeah, sometimes okay. you do. But you know what? It, it, don't do it to stroke his ego necessarily. Again, this is I, I, what I'm suggesting is you do this in your life. Right. Not, not something you just putting on just because he showed up. So you practice by doing it with the do it with the mailman. The mailman show up hand you the mail. Thank you so much for doing doing this job. I know this is tough. It get cold out here, hot out here. Um, sometimes you don't feel like doing it, but you do a great job and you always come through. I really appreciate the job that you do. And you go on, thank you so much. Like, you see what I'm saying? Now, is that gonna, that's gonna cause you to have to like be different? But I'm telling you, it's actually gonna make you a better person because now you're gonna be looking at the little things in your own life. And begin to appreciate the blessings that you have already. Okay, I got you. You okay. understand? Right. Because so, just like just like women want to be appreciated, men want to be appreciated also. Absolutely. Absolutely. Got you know? it. Absolutely. Yeah. So 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 all of that is is sprinkling the femininity, your your um in, in your interactions, in your uh connections that you have with people. Um, you know. As as you're talking to men, <laughs> this is this is a cheap little trick. 
Here's <laughs> here's a here's a cheap little trick. Okay. Raise the raise the tone in your voice. Raise the tone in my voice. Not not that tone. I mean, I'm because I'm like, okay, raise the tone. I don't. It's, it, instead of ra raise the tone of my voice, how should I raise the tone of my voice? Oh, okay. It's okay. the it's the it's the next register. Okay. Now, now somebody gonna be like, "Oh, Kel, come on, Kel, come on." That's nothing. I'm telling you, it's these little things. And the things that look, I, I've known, I know a woman, right? <laughs> this lady show up. And everybody is just dancing around her, every like 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 she's Cinderella of the ball. Like she's everybody's dancing around her to oh open the door for her, and and she just is like dainty and and woman womanly. It's just, she, she just is exudes femininity. Now I'm not suggesting that you try and be like somebody else like that. Yeah. I'm suggesting that you look at your own life. And ask yourself, how how can I sprinkle femininity in this situation? Um, what can I bring? Uh, uh, have you ever been in a house where you knew there wasn't a woman living there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and mm -hmm. and then and then after the woman comes in there, it's like there's a woman living in here. You go you go into a house, you say, you know what, dog on it. I know yeah. there's a woman in here. So yeah. I, I, right? I've been to a few men houses and be like, mm -mm. yeah, there's they a got... lady who's done been up in here, or there's a exactly. lady. Exactly. I, I yeah. ain't want to say it like that, but you yeah. know what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know, they say, come on in. I live alone. And, and you walk yeah, in there, right. you're like, oh, player. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. That, that woman has sprinkled her femininity in that house. Oh, okay. And you can feel it. You can you can you can sense okay. it when you come in. And I'm suggesting that you do the same thing. You look at what wherever you are, whatever space you take up. See, and, I, and you, I used to, and I and I know what you're talking. I used to have that aura. Mm -hmm. I used to call it an aura. Mm -hmm. I used to have that aura, and it's like that mojo just like I don't know where it went. <laughs> well, you know what? It, here's here's the thing about it. Um, it it has matured maybe as 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 you mature. So you do it where you are, and I'm telling you, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, okay, that this 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 man, this this high quality man that you're describing that you're looking for, that is going to attract him. Okay. I want you, I want you to take. I want you to even go back and and watch this again. <laughs> I will. Like, Make, make sure you subscribe on YouTube. Or watch this on YouTube, um, mm -hmm. and 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 um, go back and watch. Take notes on this again, and and start implementing these things in your life. And and just, I w I want to hear how it turns out because I know I already know how it's going to turn out because men <laughs> men have been the same for thousands and thousands of years. Men have fought wars, climbed walls, swam seas. <laughs> All for the love of one woman. Okay, but how if you is have talked to a man of that way, or how how can I put it? But the you guys have the chemistry. You guys know that you like each other, but mm -hmm. I push them away. Mm -hmm. You have to stop doing that. Yeah. You have to stop doing that. If you push a man away, guess what he's going to do? He's going to go right. away. Right. <laughs> if you push him away, he's going to go away. Okay. Um, but that, a lot of that is fear. It's fear. It's fear. It's fear. That I, I, I might be choosing the wrong one. Yeah. Well, you can't. You listen. You can't drive the car with your with the emergency brake on. The, okay. the the car will actually move. You know. You know your car will move. It, yes. if you drive it. If you punch yes. that accelerator hard enough, the car will move. But you right. will destroy the car. 
Yeah, okay. By driving it with emergency brake on. And and eventually it just it, eventually it won't move and an okay. accident will happen. So uh, now now here's the thing. You do have to um there is a difference between discernment <laughs> and and fear, right? Right. See, so, sometimes that, that gnawing feeling is God's a little tap on your shoulder telling you this ain't it. Right. You know, so so you can't ignore that. Don't ignore that. Oh, I don't. Yeah. I don't. I don't. Yeah, don't ignore that. But um, but yeah, well, I, I appreciate you coming on, Alejandra. And uh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I hope that uh, you get something from this. I hope you. Uh, I you hope get so some... too. Yeah, hope yeah, so. yeah. H hit me up and let me know how it turns out. I will. I will. All okay. right. Later. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. So that was Alejandra. Uh, we had her on, and um, we got a, got a few comments over here. Let me just see what everybody was saying. It's me, Bree. She had a couple comments. He said, he says, I'm the most feminine woman he knows, even more so than his mother and sister, which he adores and holds in high regard. Listen to this. Um, I'll, uh, Miss, Miss Bree, let me tell you something. There are some men who um, are looking, you know how people say a men are looking for somebody like their mama? They're, most of the men I know are not looking for a woman like their mama. <laughs> right? It's a fact. So that is a high compliment. If a man, if your man says, uh, you know, he, he, he knows it. He says you're the most feminine woman he knows. That's a powerful statement. Uh, yes. Femininity is yes. Yes. The answer is yes. <laughs> All right. Let's see what my girl, my girl Steph had a comment. She said, this was good. So, so some, some are me. <laughs> Steph said she saw some of, yes, yes. Some of me and her. Yes. It, it's the truth. It's the truth. It's the challenge. Right. But I'm telling you, the more receptive you are, um, you, you are created and designed to receive. And then give, right? <laughs> you reside, you, you receive the seed from a man, and then you give that seed back in the form of a baby. Giving back more than you got. Giving it comes back, it comes out better than it went in. As it, it comes out as a blessing. They call it a miracle, miracle of birth. So being receptive, but you gotta you gotta receive. Now, of course, um, here, here's here, I'm gonna give y'all a couple of extras here. Uh, men also uh, love in a feminine woman, a woman who's not receiving, not receptive to every man. You should not be receptive to everybody. They call that they they call you for the streets if you do that. They say she for the streets. But you need to be very choosy. I, I, I don't mind choosy. I don't mind choosy. Right? You, you need to have have that that distinguished taste. I, mean, I don't talk to everybody. I don't give every man my number. Right? I'm telling you, it matters. All right? Adding value. How are you going to add value? Yes. These are some good points. I hope you guys grab these on tonight. So let me check the let me check the chat on, on the other side on the Facebook side. I, my girl Princess Faith is in the building. Madonna's in the building. What's going on? Thank you for that transparency. Alejandra, thank you so much for that transparency. Yes. You rock. You helped us out tonight and we appreciate it. So all right, you guys. Well, um, let me go ahead and give you guys, if you are um, in need of a session, a love coach session, we do offer those. I will offer those tonight. I got some space um, for a couple of sessions tonight. 
So not tonight, but got a couple, got space for a couple of sessions. If you are in need of a session, if you want to do a one on one, um, I, I go deep on these. And like we did just now, I go even deeper for my clients that, that I work with. Um, and so if this is you, this is what you want. Jump in the inbox, jump in my email right there, lovecoachatlanta at gmail.com as well. Um, if you want to get the free mini course, Finding the One, I got a free mini course on findingtheone.club. Get the free mini course and it's going to help you out. I got more things that, are, that I'm working on, you guys. I want y'all to come on and just hang out with me. Um, and if you got some thoughts about the show, some thoughts about how we can advance the show just a little bit more. Uh, I'm definitely open to hearing all of that because we try to take this thing as far as we can go. So, all right, you guys, uh, until next time, peace and love. Bye.